red, 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 red. Yellow, 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 blue, 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 bl
That was wild. That was really cool. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to see the end and I'm just wondering if there's something is going to happen with those bowls of, uh, of uh, colored water or whatever's in there, jello, I don't know what, but um, because of the time lag. Uh, right, I can't see the very end. We, we'll have uh, to ask him. Yeah, we're, I don't know if uh, David Kassin picks them up and pours them over himself or something. And Maybe. drinks the Kool-Aid. Anyway, uh, to well, everyone, okay. uh, first, let me just say that piece was commissioned by Dave Lake and in as a present for his wife, Linda Wright, on their 43rd anniversary. Happy anniversary. And what a, Dave, what Linda, a great anniversary gift. Love it. Dave and Linda, we'll see you at Loud Weekend, right? Uh, I know you come up from Savannah for that. So uh, uh, looking forward to it. And uh, here's Florent. Florent, welcome. Hello. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And amazing job, David. It sounded great. Yeah, it's it's yeah lots of limbs. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. I, I composed this piece by singing in my phone, like, and it actually turned out to be pretty challenging to play, uh, which was not my intent, but David did an amazing job. <laughs> yeah, really fun. It's fantastic. And okay, tell us about the colors. I see all, you're actually, you're all wearing beautiful colors as well, but, but why, why colors? Like what took you there? Uh, I've always been fascinated by color, plain colors, color combinations. Um, and uh, also there's something um, kind of disturbing for me that's working a lot with computers is, uh, you know, when, when you're a child and you start uh, drawing and painting, uh, you're working with three primary colors, which are red, yellow, blue, which is the title of this piece, RYB. Uh, and it's what's called the subtractive model, which means that you start from a white page and you add colors. Eventually, if you put all the colors, it's going to be black. Uh, but when you work on a computer, um, this is, the three main colors are red, green, and blue, and it's what's called the additive model. And uh, you start from, from black, actually, and if you accumulate um, the three colors, you get eventually to white. And it's always been some kind of conflict in my head in order to uh you know translate this two models because in my mind uh blue plus yellow uh does green uh and it's always ah, a big trouble when i work on the computer so uh, yeah my attempt was kind of like try to create visuals without having visuals and um and working with colors um uh, and um, just uh, a quick note to David Kassin, um, aside from your incredible play, you have a special relationship to all these colors, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't see them. I'm colorblind. Um, so you could have wrote the piece gray, 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 black, black, black. <laughs> yep. It would have made more sense to me. But um, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed the piece. I've always uh, loved uh, Florence's music, so it was, it was a real pleasure to, to get this. And it's very funny because I wrote this piece without knowing yet that you were colorblind. So it's um, it's a very appropriate coincidence. Um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't affect my life too much besides what I wear. So <laughs> this looks very nice. <laughs> and David, I know like you mentioned we did uh, we worked we work with Florent in a bigger context, you know, with all the all stars. So um, this is really fun to pair you one to one. And, and did you have some back and forth? I mean, were you saying, hey, David, can you try this out, or David, you, you, you do you have questions for Florent throughout? How, how did you guys work together? This was pretty seamless. Uh, we were, Florent was in contact right away, and then uh, I said, write for whatever you want, and then he did, and and then we, we got together a few days ago and sound checked everything, and uh, it, it was well written, so it was easy to um, to, uh, to translate it. Speaking of translation, when you go back to France, you, all the rhythms are going to change. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I have to do a French version of that piece with the French names. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'd be interested to find out actually, um, you know, how it would exist if you follow the same rules, but just use the names from different languages. So, mm -hmm. 
So Florent, I was expecting, you know, David to take the one of those big bowls of uh, colored water and pour it, it over himself, or <laughs> I was expecting it to be jello or something. And, you know, it seems like uh, if each of those bowls was filled with jello, you know, you could have a like a coda or something. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm, you know, suggesting that. But it became very thirsty for cranberry juice. Yes. <laughs> That's a great idea, Michael. Uh, it's actually funny because it's uh, David's daughter who suggested those bowls. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, go for it. I like the idea. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that well, was thank, fun. You, yeah. thank you so much for having me on this concert. I'm very grateful to be here, um, surrounded by so many wonderful artists and um, and thanks, David, so much for doing an amazing job on this um, challenging piece. Thank you. 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 That was great. That was fun.